you know how Steve just said what he confessed to. I do want to also add this to y'all, because I don't know if all y'all know if y'all ain't from the U.S., whatever. What's going on, family? Today, I'm back with another, but I have a special guest. And yes, we're real hood, like, so get with it or get lost, okay? But any hoots, this is my daughter. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Yes, she's a goober. She's going to bring some some brightness to this topic because we're talking about who? Who we talking about? What we reacting to? Jesus! <laughs> it took you a minute, but okay. All right, so that's what we're doing today. Um, yeah, her her happiness should make this a little lighter, hopefully. But, um, yeah, we're hey, going... let's get back. Okay, um... Child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to be reacting to Steve. Um, evidently, I have to make this our video, so more than likely you'll see a whole picture or something down below. So I'm going to put like a little picture or something down below in the corner to cover his name up, that whole ordeal, as I always do. Um, we'll be jumping back and forth to give y'all our reactions, evidently, to certain sections of the video. So, we'll, I want y'all to sit back, relax, get your sodas, get your snacks, and you have blood pressure medication, okay? Don't, don't. Don't they need some high blood pressure medication? They do. I need some too. Yeah, we won't need that. So Yeah, we got to try to keep calm. Get into the video. Yeah, we getting into it. Keith said I shaved her head, which is a lie. Their mother did it. I never shaved their head. My daughter said I molested them. I never touched my daughters. All I did was love my daughters, hug my daughters, pinch their jaws, and be there for them. To touch my daughters, for them to say something like that, Man, that crushed my heart. You know, I couldn't get jobs because of the situation. You know what I mean? I mean, people look at that record and they see it in my own kids. People think, I'm a monster. My heart is really crushed, you know. Um, the fact that I can hear that he's still in denial about the things that he did in our life. And so my heart does bleed to the fact that he's still not telling the truth. There's a long list of allegations yes. there. What did he do to you? My father abused me like for months and years and for hours. Like when I tell you a, a beating one for, for many hours, he would strip me naked and have me like with no clothes on and would just beat me with um, several objects with sticks. Oh, no, I'm just confused too how she got beat for hours as if her dad don't get tired of beating her within like 20 minutes. Cause like for him to actually sit there and beat you for hours, he must have a lot of energy. Lots of it. I do want to give y'all a quick backstory real fast before this proceeds. So this guy is an ex-boxer or whatnot, and he's been accused of being uh, abusive towards his daughters. Um, they're twin daughters, and he's supposed to have done all of these horrible things that y'all about to hear about. But my daughter makes an excellent point. Uh, beat for hours? She said nonstop. Not as in like, oh, I'm going to beat your ass. Come back and beat your ass again. It was more or less like... Said, like for hours. Yeah. Like, so he didn't like stop to give you that food. Like he didn't get hungry or nothing like that. Like, <laughs> get hungry? <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> but that's it's, true. No, it's true. So he's like... As if he's not going to say, let me go grab a sandwich. Right? <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> And how rooms, old were you at this time? I was about, um, it started when I was at least about 10, about 10, up until the age of 16. And he was, he was like, my, and I'll tell you, my legs was scarred with bruises, my arms was wet. So, like, again, my daughter made a good point. What was that? What do you have though? Exactly. You just disappear? You Not, cocoa butter? Okay. If y'all hadn't noticed, she's sitting there. With a, with a dress on. A dress on. No stockings, okay? Understand. There's no stockings on her. It's a dress. Short sleeves. Yes. Keep in mind. Just keep not in... Even a turtleneck. 
can't stand her. <laughs> no, because she really said her neck. Because like she said, my arms, my leg, my neck. Yeah, she legit did just say all that, all that. And she likes, and she's light skin. You definitely would have been able to see the scars though. Yeah. Anyways, move on. Come on. <laughs> she took the neck and everything. He would take my neck and like pin me up to the wall and like choke me into the point where I was gagging. And so when I started to cry, he had beat me more because he started to see tears. And so he would beat me more. He had pick, he picked me up. And at this time, I was so so skinny and pruny. So he picked me up in the air and like he slammed me to the ground to the point where my body started to shake. And like my eyes were rolled back and forth in my head. Your eyes started rolling in the back of your head. You did not end up in the hospital. You had no type of brain injuries, nothing like that, right? You got slammed to the ground. Oh, no, not just that, just that. No, -uh. she got another parent too. Had another it's parent. Hard. Right. But it's like. Now and let me fun. let me make something clear to some of y'all. You can definitely have two horrible. And yes, I said horrible. <laughs> Man, she always making up words. Oh. I do. But you can have real bad parents on both ends. You absolutely can. My heart is pretty much torn as well to still see that my father is in denial. Our life was tortured, you know, and it's sad to see that still to this day, he's in denial about everything. And I've witnessed so many things that he did to her and vice versa. You know, he's he constantly beat us for small little things, you and, know. And, and you were never taken away from him or? No, no, we were never taken so away. So you lived with him until you were 18 or? No, 16. 16. Um, 16. We can't inform or go, go tell anyone about the incidents that was going on because we had to live a life of a, a lie. You know, we had to go around telling other people when we went to school when they see marks, oh, my sister did this, or I was fighting and multiple um, scars came from him beating us. Okay, so the part where she just said that they had to live a life of a lie. I actually could relate to this because my adopted home, everything was a fucking lie. I mean, everything, everything you could think of. Oh, everything is nice and good and happy in the house and all of that type of thing. I was making mm -hmm. excuses for uh, bruises and all of that. But I mean, like. Things that, right? With her story, she said that she had a lot of bruises and everything like that, right? Even if she made up stories, if their bruises were that bad, you know for a fact either the teacher or the principal or somebody in there will call CPS. Somewhere in some exactly. form, they will call CPS. And or abusers called the house. My bad. Abusers are really good at um aiming for spots that's not noticeable. Yeah, but she said hers were noticeable. Yeah, right? that's what especially, I'm saying. Especially, especially for her neck part. So you know like you go to school, right? This is your grandma around your neck, right? You tell me they're, they're not gonna call CPS. Right. Oh, man, she must be dreaming. Yeah, I, I mean, dreaming. bruh, she, like, she, she was hard. They for certain, like, what I was going through, they for sure made sure they ain't for under my clothes. But, yeah. like, you're right about the whole, like, let me have walked in there with a black hour or some shit. Right. CPS would have been called ASAP. I would have been taken to the right. counselor's office. There would have been a whole conversation. And then if they believed that everything was good, they was going to definitely call CPS. So I'm not sure about this one. Right. You, can, you, can, you can just lie to him and tell him everything is good. Gonna, you exactly. They're still going to you know, do background checking this. Yes. Like, no way. They're just going to be like, okay. And you go home, you don't find some random person on a student side sitting there in the table to come up. So, did you hit your child? Like, no. Right. She must have been high. <laughs> she was high. <laughs> she was high. She was high. She was high. She was high. And she said her and her sister, but like, how come her sister does not really tell her story? How come it's just her and talking about? I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Watch her sister. You seen the watching your sister, you could have called 911. Or couldn't have helped. That's your twin. Like, you guys was on each other's back. So you, you, you were just sitting there watching as it's. And she just got her book cord and you were like, all right, go ahead and see. Right. It's ill. You know, and not just. And then the tape, he blames your mother for a lot of Yes, yes, he does. Yes. Did your mother abuse you also? Both of them. Both of them. Oh, so they. They your, both did it. They your both did it. Mother but our mom both. isn't here you know she passed when we were 16 so you know she's not here to defend herself right. you know she passed when she was 16 but she was also helping her dad 
Yeah, see, that's what I was about to say. Now, y'all talking about they both were, but they're trying to push all of it on today, dead, if you ain't noticed. Now, they're saying, oh, uh, she's not here to defend herself. Okay, I understand that. But I also know this. If my mom did certain shit, she guilty of it, period. You hear or not. Whether she's right, whether she's dead or not. But it's like, you... But she is set up on that at the age of 16, right? Mm-hmm. How, how old did she say it stopped? 16? Or yeah, they said they ran away at 16. So magically after the mom died, that's when they ran away? I guess so. So you waited for your mom to die to so run away? Cause she... Right? Wait, so... <laughs> No, there are some stuff that really don't make sense. Like, like honestly, first I've watched this before, right? And mm -hmm. I never really, I just watched it just because I wanted to, right? But then again, I never, I never really sat there and be like, all right, so let me just go through, like, like you know, the lies. I mean, I've, I've seen some lies, but I just never sat there like I'm doing right now and be like, okay, so this is that. So it's like, so your mom died, right? And magically, that's when you have the courage to run away, but you didn't have that while, he, while she was alive. Right, and if it was like that with both of them, why wouldn't you have left then? Because uh, I left. I wasn't playing no damn games. You ain't going to keep doing the shit you're doing to me. Right. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> Jay and said, period, poo. <laughs> He's in denial about a lot of things. So, our so main it's focus... easy for him to put the blame on He's her. He's a mom because she's not here to defend not herself. Here to defend right. herself. Yeah. Here's your father, Keith. You two, cunning, conniving, crafty, subtle, sociopathically, sneaky, narcissistic, pathological liars. Hold up. <laughs> Wait. <the> <laughs> <laughs> he went in. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, yo, he almost lost his last word, but I'm sorry, I had to pause it there, that was great. Tati, was that not great? <laughs> he went in. <laughs> he went in. To be fair, they did say he, you know, they went in when they said the way he did them, so he got to, you know, he got to return the favor. Exactly, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You was trained, you was manipulated, you was indoctrinated. You know what? And I'm tired of it. Hey, let me tell you something. I whooped their ass. Hell yeah, my daughters were terrible. I whooped their ass. He really was like, hell yeah, I whooped their ass. <laughs> they were so brainwashed and indoctrinated. <laughs> His goal is to have a whole bunch of like smart words. That's what Tati just said. She said he she was thinking. She said he was probably more or less thinking of the big words he used on stage. But you said that he had to have been in the back practicing that in his head the whole time. Mm -hmm. He got so to the point where he was like, you know what? Let me bring on SAT words. I took the SAT and boom, here's the words. Like, what? Dude. He said, like, yeah. He said, yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> yep, and yep, I whooped they ass. <laughs> Yo, like, the way he is so blunt, and I love that. Like, I hope the guy, he really wasn't, like, abusive, but I love that he is honest about whooping that ass. Right, he's just, like, he just, because, listen. Okay. He's like one of those that's like if something really happened, he'd have been like, yeah, actually did happen. He would I don't feel like he would have been in denial of it happening. See, I'm that type of person too. Like, ask me about something I done, I will definitely tell you. I got uh -huh. bracelets put on me several times for being honest. Just saying. Back to the video. My my daughter was terrible from kindergarten on up. Now deny this. Every school you went to, from state to state, the teacher said, do me a favor, don't bring your daughters back to the school. Matter of fact, you know when you were 16 you know years said old, that? when you were 16 years old, they were so terrible, I had to send you to boot camp. So, 
Didn't she say they ran away when they were 16? Right. He just said he had to send their asses to boot camp at 16. I gotta go. Uh, See, I read in this shit, okay? I, I, look, viewers, I told y'all this. I reads them in. Does them one day where I think I was to boot camp. Right? Like, what? <laughs> Bro. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna head out y'all. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh my! I'm really stuck on that right now. Like he just said, he yeah, she they was like we ran right at 16. He just said I had to send y'all asses to boot camp, and I want y'all to deny it. They couldn't, they couldn't. And then the chick was like, "Yeah, hey, you want to know why? You want to know why? Hold up, bruh. You just said you ran away though. Which one is it?" She ran away. She getting back. <laughs> like yeah you could have done both Jaden no, but she, she, if she you if you was really listening to it you would understand what I'm saying they, they probably got whooped right they said who can he said I whooped they ass he literally said, <laughs> he said it just <laughs> like that like, yeah they're my they kids they went to camp they came home trying to run away one time they got whooped and then that's when they ran away right away most likely so that's how it worked out to you not really oh my god like <laughs> i'm not editing that either i promise to god <laughs> You beat us constantly, then you beat us constantly for all you, you choke me, you slam me on the ground. So when we go to school, it was freedom. It was time for us to laugh and giggle because at home we didn't get it. And I want you to just tell the truth. Hold Stop on, lying. I was a victim in that house myself. My wife was it. My wife was controlling, vindictive. I couldn't say that. And you saying I, I, I witnessed this, yes, I did. But let me tell you something the reason why. She had them so brainwashed, so indoctrinated, that no matter who I brought in the house and told, they would flip the script and turn it around and lie on me. So, I couldn't. I'm like, and I got witnesses. So Are you telling me that you never abused your children? You gotta, you gotta, uh... So yes or no? Deprive. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta show me what abuse is. Whoop in the ass? Hell yeah, whoop the ass. You know, I'm, I'm whipping so many yeah, on the ass, ass. give them a spanking. No, not no you know. spanking. No, I wasn't no spanking. I, I mean, I whooped them, but I loved them. Well, and how I would told, you? But you, gotta, you gotta understand how this. How would you whip them? You, but you gotta understand this. How thing. would you whip them? I whip them with belts. I whip them with a belt. I whip them with a rope. Like, all right, all jokes is that. I don't like how Steve said, "Well, how would you whip them? What would you use?" And he kept trying to go around that. I don't like that. Like, I feel as if he was trying to, in so many words, out talk Steve, but can't get what I mean. I need to be fair. He did answer the question. Yeah, he did. But he was just going around. I ain't like that part. Like, that going around it. I, I don't know. I like, mean, that ain't sip too pretty with me. Lucky I don't know, but like, Steve was kind of sort of interrupting him too while he was trying to understand what he was saying. Yeah. But, and that's one, and honestly, that's one thing that he always does. Like, he'll ask him a question and then he'll just really instruct him while they're answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. Why you can ask me a question and you get an answer me a half of And you still didn't get your answer. That's the thing. And you can ask me another question. Like, can you True. This one and then. That's and like me saying, Tati, what you do today? Trying to ask what's hooking. And it like, oh, you're so. Yep. Cool. And I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hung up here. What am I doing now? I'm about to hang up the phone. Hello. Like, like you get it, right? Like, some people really don't understand. What I be talking about when it come down to Steve to an extent. I ain't saying, I don't think he's a bad dude. But there are certain he's things. Not, he just be doing too much. Like, there are some of the videos I be seeing. I'm like, how are you going to throw a child at home while she works on the stage? Swear to God. I say that same thing. I'm like, why? What was you proving like, right there? Like, how are you going to throw papers at the woman that while she's working on the stage? Like, if it's a pain, it's a whole different story. But, like, come on now. And, it's, she, and he has a whole... Daughter, like she, that he constantly brings up like, all the time, right? And then she's gonna, she most likely probably watch one of your shows, and she sees that she's gonna be like, Oh, so that's what's gonna, that's what's supposed to happen. 
right? But he he'll preach quick. He'll preach. He'll preach quick. Like, oh well, you're supposed to respect your woman, and you're supposed to do this and do that. Like, granted, he do be having foul ass people on his stage. But practice what the hell you preach is my thing. Just practice what the hell you preach. That's all. Like you do in the beginning. Period. <laughs> she ignoring you on that one. <laughs> Look at her. She hates me. But you gotta understand what led up to this. It was they was habitually doing things. How old were they when you were whipping them with belts and ropes? 10, 11, 12. But you gotta understand, man. These kids was and constantly exactly doing things they, that I told them not to do. What exactly did they do that you whipped them with a belt or a rope? What did they do? Man, yeah. let's go down the list, man. What did they do? Yeah. Spitting in the teacher, putting sanitizer in the teacher's coffee, spitting in the teacher's and in, in the kids' shoes. Make them fight each other. Hey, I, I, I showed your, uh, your team. I'm a boxer, man. I trained them as a young box. They got on gloves. They was happily doing it. They used to spark. He said he's a boxer, right? Mm-hmm. He also said he taught his kids how to fight. Right. right. So you need to tell me that, right? You know how to fight because your dad told you how to fight, right? Mm -hmm. You need to tell me that if you're getting up that bad, you wasn't going to fight back. You exactly. Fight. You wouldn't really, you, you, you were just in the, you, you wouldn't fight. But you know how to fight. <laughs> he taught you how to fight. You know how to fight. Like or right, if you all right even if you're that type of person that believe in respecting a person not wanting to put your hand on them how about this though he taught you how to fight so you can't protect yourself you don't I know how to say. move in certain ways because the first thing in boxing is you have to actually know how to move your feet people like, but, you, like dead ass. You have to know how to move your feet. I know. I just like to remember. Yeah, so had I. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you couldn't protect yourself. You ain't know how to run. You ain't know how to duck. You ain't know how to... <laughs> hey. I, you know, I know how to run. But it's like, even if you're the type that's like, you know, what just like the respect thing, right? Mm -hmm. when you, you're going to get tired of it. Like, at one point, you're going to end up getting tired of it and you're going to fight back. Right. So you never got, you're never never got tired of it and you're never going to fight back. But you're going to sit here and cry and blame it. <sighs> I <don't know. laughs> I showed them the pictures, man. Yeah, they flipping the script and twisting it because so, your mama Keith, taught you. Can I used to tell them I'm a divorce, sir. She say, I bet you never see Keith. your kids. I'm like, I'm going to see my kids. Can I ask you I'm, something? So what she did can when can I'm going to work, she indoctrinated them. They ain't little liars, man. You on, man. Now, the dad just said, I don't know if y'all y'all heard that, but the dad literally just said, y'all some little liars, right? Girly girl, girl, I mean, you are too. So you just said too, homie. I heard what you said. They were too, but I'm just going to exactly he lied about. Yeah, because he seemed to be a little honest. <laughs> a little too honest. <laughs> yeah, I whooped they ass. <laughs> I used to build, I used to rope. <laughs> <laughs> so we can say he did ask. True. He did ask. You know, he went to be all in the sauce, all in the business. He did ask him. He got it. Right? Sheesh. She said. You are Give me 100. I admit it. Hell yeah, I'm going to throw it. I admit it. Did you ever Man, sexually scary. touch? <laughs> did you ever sexually touch Man. either of your twin daughters? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever sexually touch your daughters? What did he say? He said no, right? He said no. And, and said what no. happened? He passed. Exactly. What? Okay. Did you ask him that? Ask him that. Come on, man. The liars. Did you shave Keitha's head when she was in high school? You answered no. You told the truth. What? I could have swallowed this girl sat there and said that this man done sexually touched them and shaved the damn head. Now, what had happened? 
Which one's Wukin? That Wukin probably should be your head. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like. Oh! What up? What up? I hit you tomorrow. What up? What up? Yeah, I hit you tomorrow. Did you, tomorrow. Oh, did you, out. Did you on, ever man. make Keitha eat dog food? You answer no. You told the truth. Come on, man. He supposedly made her eat dog food too. Did y'all hear that? Uh -huh. I want to make certain everybody heard that one. Okay. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What he happened? Passed. He passed. <laughs> <laughs> so she's speechless. Right? Oh, funny. She can't talk. She forgot how to talk. Swear. It really seemed like her mouth just all of a sudden. The cat took her tongue. She forgot nothing. She can't talk anymore. It's gone. Did you ever hit Kiyosha with a blunt object causing her head to bleed? You answered yes. You confessed. No, it was an accident. Now, I told him, I explained, and I apologized to her. They're putting everything the mom did onto him. But when it came down to um, the dad hitting the chick in the head, he did it on accident. And he right. said it on the lie detector test. Right. And okay, so it's not like he lied about anything. Exactly, he wasn't he also lying. Confess about, he also confessed about the mom shouldn't get her and stuff like that. Yeah, and he said that um the only re way she got hit in her head was the fact that she was like moving around and uh the thing hit her in her head. They make this man out to be a monster. Like and some of this shit that they talking about, I went through. That's why I, I felt like this was extremely important for me to record because there is fucking liars out here. Excuse my French, but not excuse my French. There's liars out here and it sickens me. But we ain't even done with the whole lie detector test, y'all. We're going to get back into it. What did you hear? Sir, can I ask you, Steve, can I ask you a question, please? Hold on, let me Okay. Come on, man. Then you made a confession, Keith. You confessed to hitting Kiyosha on the head with the blunt object causing her to bleed. He states that it was an accident and apologized to her. He also confessed yeah, to- Yeah, I told you I felt bad. He My also, dad cried with you. He also confessed on, to man. hitting the kids with sticks, belts, ropes. Now, um, you know how Steve just said what he confessed to. I do want to also add right. this to y'all, because I don't know if all y'all know if y'all ain't from the U.S., whatever, or the South. But understand something. The stick thing is called switches. And you, they'll basically send you outside to go get your own switch to give you an ass with my wick. It ain't on some, oh, I'm about to, to bust your forehead in type ordeal. So that was like heavily over exaggerated. That's why it was, I wanted to make that part clear too. Cause I know a bunch of y'all ain't from the US or down south to understand that when you, he says us, uh, the sticks, it's switches. Okay? Just saying. He stated that their mother shaved the daughter's head and sent her to school bald. He states it was not him. Did you witness your wife put Keitha in a dark cage? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. So I explained that. I said I knew did. about it, but I didn't actually okay, see it. Okay, but you you saw I didn't it. We asked it. you if you saw it. No, I didn't witnessed see it. Witnessed it, and you I said did. no, and I you didn't, didn't tell that. the truth. When, you know, and like, listen, I can't imagine a whore is going on there, right? Be bad to begin with. But when you see your wife putting your child in a dog cage, even no matter how, co how hardcore you are, or how disciplinarian you are, or what you think, whatever, don't you have some kind of emotion as a father hey, to say, I no. I explain that to you, bro, and I can't, I can't specify it no more. Y'all can laugh all you want to, hold on. I can't specify it. It wasn't just about them. It was a host of people okay, that they, they okay. gang up against but Keith, me, man. I did but Keith, bro, I got stabbed okay. in the face by their mama for taking up for them. What are you talking about, bro? She would kill me. To, to be fair, though, he passed on the other test that was way more important than him seeing his child that he put and a dog cage. Yeah, like it. it and, and that's one thing, like, Steve always does that. Like, he'll focus on that one part that you did not pass on and he try to pressure about it. Yep. Like, like see, I, my whole thing about that is, yes, that's a very bad thing to do. It's very bad. 
But he really just explained it away by saying, like, look, she stabbed me in my face before, let alone them all jumping up on me. So I feel like, because I've witnessed this personally, the dad actually, when he says that, I know exactly what he's talking about because I witness this on a daily basis, let alone when I was younger. A whole bunch of people, like, you you brainwash your kids to be on your downside. So, you got mm-hmm. you got those kids going against the dad type right. ordeal. So, even if the mom is doing something, she'll just put it on the dad and, t- and, you know, basically just what your dad did that. Exactly. Exactly. Well, your dad's <sighs> the reason why I did this. Or, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So. Or it's like your dad cheated on me, so I ended up doing that to you. It's like, look at my face. Exactly. It's like you're. I I don't like I don't like what he did. But like I'm getting that out there right now. We're going to be very clear. I don't like that he seen it. But I also don't like the fact that Steve ain't looking at the fact that he couldn't do nothing either. Because you are in situations where you can't do certain things. Like I literally grew up with this type of situation. Like, when my, I told y'all over and over again, my brother's dad is my dad. Period, point blank. You can't ask me nothing different. So, with him, my mom, she's not worthy of that name, but she would do certain shit. He'd try to stop her, and all hell would break loose. Get what I'm saying? So, I actually can envision this whole thing in my head. Steve is stuck on that one part. That one part, that's right. Instead of looking at the entire picture. Like, he was honest to you about everything. So, oh, now you stuck on that one thing? As if he wants to sit there and lie about it. It's it's like, and I don't even think they asked anything about the dog cage when he came out on the stage. I didn't hear nothing about them questioning the wall, Steve. Questioning him about the dog cage at all. Yeah, that he actually but, didn't. He so opened basically, it. And how much you know about the if Steve actually had asked him about it, he probably would have just sworn flat out. Right. But it was. But Steve is being Steve as always, and he's gonna start comparing himself to him and all this other stuff. Like nobody cares, just be a show and shut up. But anyways, yeah. I hate when he compares other people to him. Mm-hmm. Especially the child molester. It's like, come on now, dude. Like, what are you talking about? I have a daughter. You're not going to see me this, this. Okay. Good for you. Yeah, I the think that he should be more open-minded to understanding other people's situation. Because everybody's shit ain't the same. Facts. Like, you could go take a shit right now and it could be brown. And somebody else could go take a shit and it's green. Get what I'm saying? Everybody mm-hmm. ain't the same. So, like, I hate that, like... He does that. Everything is Just, not your life. Right. Oh, and when he goes in on the drug addicts, really piss me off. Because, homie, you had a whole drinking problem. I'm not even going to go in on that right now. But that makes me so mad. Like, it pisses me off. It pisses me doesn't off. Even, he doesn't even give them credit at the fact that, you know, they stopped for, like, you know, five, six years. Or, like, some of them, like, ten years. Right. What they did in the past, what how do you know you're not going to this and that? It's like some people cannot actually control themselves, or like some people cannot like they start doing something, they realize what they're doing, they just stop because mm-hmm. they know like they still have that part of their head that's like, all right, that's not right. Right. That's why she lost her life. I got stabbed, and you don't know it. You know that. it. Don't I don't say that. Why don't you stick? Why don't you stick that? around for so long? Hey, it's like this, bro. When I took that vow and said for better or for worse, that doesn't mean get stabbed in the face. No, but still, and still, man, listen, it's cheaper to keep. Uh, you know what I'm saying, bro? Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. Listen, my wife went cheat on me. She had some problems. Okay, and I'm, I love it. She I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it real too. I'm always and I'm gonna make home. one Don't statement, worry. right? Worry, man. And this is what it comes down to. And I'm gonna keep it real, bro. You're full of. I'm full of <laughs> Did you see how she opened her water? <laughs> Did you see how she opened her water? 
Yo. Tati, apparently, he full of shit. I mean, so is Steve, because he's a unit, but anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you got a man that came out on your stage, right? He was straightforward with you about everything. Everything. Really? Everything. He didn't lie to you. Nothing like that. He told you everything from the jump. You asked some question, he answered it. You said, what did you whoop your kids with? He told you shut up for it, right? He passed... He felt that one test, which was him witnessing his wife dancing the dumb. First of all, if he gets stabbed in the face once, what makes you think he's gonna go try to think it's to get stabbed again? Right, exactly. Like, yeah, that's evidently. His like, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, that's his kid and stuff like that. He's just trying to help his kids. But it's like none of us know the actual situation that he was in. So it's like even if he tried to help his kid and he wasn't able to. He probably was sure that he was going to actually get stabbed to death because he got stabbed in the face. But that's what he, like, he said. He got stabbed in the face. So you need to tell him. You want, to, you want him to jump in front of her or, like, trying to stab her. Little does you know, she might have have a knife right close and just stab him right in the heart and killed him. Exactly. And Boy, he also he made it very clear that she had some uh, issues, some emotional issues. She would cheat mm-hmm. on him. He took his vow serious, though. Like... Right. He wasn't trying to leave his family. And I get it. There had to have been some, like, jacked up-ish there. But Steve, again, again. It's not really fair to him to just basically just start judging him with some one question that he failed. Exactly. (laughs) Not even just that. He ain't like dude from Jump, and you could tell. Like, he was already biased to the situation. Mm-hmm. Like, he honestly really could have gave two flying, you know what, right. words. Right. If. To be honest, though, it's, for some reason, part of, like, in some situation, I feel like Steve is really sexist. Like, literally. Because the part of the mom, you know, basically shipping the her husband is not the third, right? Uh huh. He didn't really say nothing about it. Like, yeah, she's dead. And- Stop. He didn't say nothing about it. He just kept it moving. Other than that, the one thing that has to do with the mom, that's the mom's fault. Oh, he's full of it. Yeah, he's full of it. The daughters ain't, but he is. Apparently, he is. The and daughters right, ain't just sitting right, loud on him. The, the, just lied on the father, right? But the father is full of it. Okay. Yeah, a, apparently, um, apparently, the the daughters, even though they just stood up there and lied heavy on their dad. Uh, Apparently, that don't mean nothing. I mean, it honestly is jacked up to me because I could just imagine how they grew up and what they grew up with. In the Uh same sense, they just sat up there and completely lied on their dad. And it's like, there was no way you can listen to your dad shave your head ball, right? You were old enough to know who is who. Yes! You know, the person who shaved your head, but it's not like you're like five years old, so you got confused between your mom and your dad. You were in high school. You were in high school. If you don't know the difference between your mom and your dad by night, you're in high school, you need to go back to kindergarten. <laughs> that's hella true. That is hella true, and that's exactly the point I was about to make. You don't know the difference between your parents. You're sitting there lying, dog. You didn't set up there and lie on this man. And now, uh-huh. he's been persecuted by f- Steve for no reason for real. Hurt enough to come onto the stage. Honestly, all I gotta say is, on this point, not much with Steve. Like, seriously. Anyways. <laughs> You used you know, to that 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 thing is you got off the hook you served your time man get the fuck off the stage you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying yeah exactly what was the routine Steve said 
you're full of shit. He said, well, if I'm full of shit, then I'm full of real shit. <laughs> He's not wrong, but it's like... I want to know how they got applauded, though. Somebody tell me. And tell me why Steve threw the chair at him for what? Why did, why did he get kicked up the stage is my question. Yeah. The two, liars, the two little liars, well, the two bald-headed liars, was just standing over there doing nothing and just applauded as if they didn't just lie. Literally just sat and lied. And Steve said something about them doing him doing some time. What did he need to do time for? He ain't do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He didn't abuse his children. He didn't do nothing to his child. So he needs he needs he needs to do time for witnessing his wife making her stupid decision of locking her kids in a cage. Right. That he couldn't even help them. That's that he, crazy. he wasn't trying to die. He wasn't trying to die. Exactly. So what exactly is he getting kicked off the stage for? Yeah, I, I, I comment down below, y'all, and tell us what the hell but he got kicked off for. Cause if, if y'all find something that we missed, please, because I'm just like, yeah, seriously. I've seen this as my things. I've seen it. I still don't know why he got kicked off the show. Well, the stage. Truth. We don't know, y'all. Let us know, please. <laughs> When he came out here and started talking about what you are. Yeah. Well, hey man, he's your father. Mm -hmm. When my kids grow up and they turn out bad and they're doing great, guess what? That's on me, right? right? right. I'm their dad. I got to make sure that they're good people. I'm sure you are good girls. Jesus Christ. I want to know if y'all heard what I heard. Did you hear it, Tati? What? Right? Like when when my kids grow up and if they turn out to be bad people, that's on me. And then he goes to say, Well, I, I'm sure I'm you sure guys are good. good. Exactly. He literally threw a dart. He threw two darts actually because they're twins. So he actually was really calling them bad people. He knew they were lying. But they're gonna try to clean it up. Stick with it. He caught them in a line, but he didn't want to bring it up. Exactly. How are you going to say you shoot the group people when this time you're going to face the whole show? But if you... We had a loss, y'all. Let us know. We missed it. Let us know. Cause... I'm going to go back to jail. I've never been to jail, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but like... It makes he really just threw a dart at them and cleaned it up. And yes, I put quotes on that. He cleaned it up by saying, Well, I'm sure you guys are good. Exactly. Where? Truth. Where? We can't find it, so y'all find it for us because we can't. I definitely can't find it because I know I'm not blind, so. True. Let me know. And yes. you've been through a lot. Yeah. Why? You do what you want. Mm -hmm. But why you would ever want a relationship with that guy? Mm -hmm. You'd be crazy and you'd be asking for more abuse. Maybe not the abuse you suffered when you were kids. Right. But he's going to mentally abuse you. Yeah. And that's never going to change. Yeah. I wish you all the luck, all the luck in the world. And I hope this brought you some closure to expose him, yes. what yes. he is. And I hope you guys can go on and be happy with your lives. Thank you. So Steve just threw that dart, basically calling them out, right? And they're going to try to clean it up with the whole, you guys had a hard life. You damn right they had a hard life at the hands of their mother, not their father. Let's make that very clear. And, um, yeah. Somehow their father's going to mentally abuse them at their age at this point. Right. Like they can't remove themselves from a certain situation. Like, I, I mean, apparently when they were 16, they did. So how come wasn't gonna stop them now? So if they're in jail, they were 16, right? Right. They ran away at 16, right? Okay. But magically came back because why? They missed the food at home. Is that why? They wanted to come back to it. And I, I watched this entire episode, 
and they wasn't even there for them to get a relationship with their father, as Steve was just trying to emphasize the fact that they shouldn't. They didn't go there for that. What the, the chick kept saying was, he's still in denial. He's not in denial. You're in denial. Your mom was the one doing all that shit to you. It wasn't him. Like, granted, I understand if they have some sort of anger at the fact that he couldn't save them. Right, that's a whole different story. But it's like you can't sit there and blame him for something that you never did. That's not fair to him because it's just not fair. Like, I feel like you got to give credit where credit's due. And he stayed around and went through hell for doing it. So, I mean, I don't know. Somebody explain where we missed it at. Because evidently we missed something. I probably missed the whole show. Truth. It's they didn't true. tell the truth about nothing. No, like, they legit didn't tell the truth about nothing. Like, and it ain't just for y'all subscribers to know or any newcomers. I want y'all to understand something. Like I said, I watched this whole thing. They didn't tell the truth about nothing. I mean, nothing. And what I recorded here is the important parts of the story. They flat out lied on their their dad like it was so easy for them so they evidently they carried a mom with them real well i mean really as she, well as if she never did anything wrong well. that's my point that's my point like, she's talking about handing now you don't really want she, you on like she's the reason why you on the show to begin with he like she kept saying he's in denial Evidently, you're in denial, right? Because you ain't even down. You ain't tell the truth. I mean, I think if he was in denial, you wouldn't have told him that he would be behind. <laughs> <laughs> it was nobody's business. Yo, like, I can't figure it out. I don't know, man. That's this video. We, we got more coming for y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I drop a new video. And yes, I mean every time. Yes, I mean every time. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. 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 Now like, deuces.